Hello, my friend. This is Phil again. Very welcome back to my channel. So in this episode, I'm going to show you the top two auto rifles for commando build and their best modes you should attach. The main thing we consider when we mod the weapons is to reduce our AP cost per shot, so we can keep on shooting when we fight the bosses, even without any AP regen gears. As you can see, this is not my commando build character, but he has all the modes that we need because this is actually my main character. A fixer apparently is the number one rifles we want to use with our commandos. I don't have any top fixer with this character, but just grab a random fixer for demonstration purpose. Now to mod the fixer, we're gonna need a gunsmith rank 3, I think. But I don't have a rank 3, so I just put rank 5 on. Now all the fixer actually share exactly the same mode with the combat rifle. You do need to actually scrap fixer to get their mode. You can actually scrap combat rifle to get the mode for fixer as well. And it's much easier to get combat rifle inside the game than the fixer. So let's get started. As I mentioned, this is just a random fixer. Now the first mode is the receivers. To achieve the best AP cost reduction, we're gonna have to use automatic receivers here. We have to replace this calibrated receiver and change to automatic receiver, which is gonna reduce 50%, 50% AP cost per shot. So it's a must to change thing. I would recommend to use powerful automatic receiver. It gives you the best damage output as well. Or a primed automatic receiver. If you think you're gonna deal with the queens a lot. But for me, I just use powerful automatic receiver. It's much easier to get the ammo. And the primed version doesn't give us any additional benefits when we fight anything which is not scorched. If you don't have this automatic receiver, you can change it to any other automatic receivers. For example, the Drake automatic receiver. It can also reduce 50% of your AP calls per shot. Or just automatic receivers. Apparently, it can have less damage compared with a powerful one. But if you don't have a choice, it will work. Then for the barrels, we have to go for aligned long barrel. So aligned barrels, both short and long, will give you 5% AP reduction. But long barrel gonna give you a much long range, which gonna increase the hit probability in VATS when mobs are far away from you. So let's change it to stabilized long barrel here. And stock. So aligned stock already save you 5% AP cost, but forceful stock gonna give you exactly the same amount of AP reduction as well as much higher durability. So I would suggest go for forceful stock. If you don't have forceful stock, then fall back to aligned stock. Then it comes to magazines. For magazines, we don't really worry about AP reduction anymore because none of the magazines gonna give you AP reduction. But what they can give you is armor penetration, which is very, very important when you fight the end game mode. And most of the time, they are more important than the raw damage increase. So here, perforating gives you the best armor penetration, which is 20% armor penetration. I would suggest if you have a quad fixer, then definitely go for perforating for the best armor penetration benefit because you don't need to reload a lot. But if you have a normal version of fixer, there's actually more choices for you. Piercing magazine actually gives you only 5% armor penetration, but it improves your reload speed. And sting magazine increases the capacity of your magazine as well as a 15% armor penetration benefit. I would recommend to go to sting magazine if you have a non-quad fixer. Swift magazine doesn't give you any armor penetration, it increases the armor capacity and improves the reload speed. So we're gonna give you exactly the same armor capacity as a sting magazine, but without armor penetration benefit. And quick magazine will actually reduce 5% of your armor penetration. So definitely don't go to quick magazine. It doesn't worth it at all. So my purpose here is if I got a quad fixer, I would definitely go for perforating magazine. But if it's a non-quad fixer, I would go for sting magazine or piercing magazine. And if I don't have both of them, I will have to fall back to swift magazines. And if your fixer have this 25% fast fire rate legendary perk, then piercing magazine probably will not serve you as good as a swift magazine because you're gonna need to reload a lot. The next thing we need to mold is the sight. It's quite straightforward. To reduce the AP cost, we'll go for reflex sight. It doesn't matter if it's circle or dot. 
They're both going to save you 5% AV cost. I personally prefer DOT. It gives me a much clearer view through the site. And then the last important one is the muzzle. Suppressor without question if you do sneak commandos. It will reduce the range a bit, but it's definitely worth it. And for pens, whatever pen you have, it doesn't really matter. That's all the best modes for fixes. And the second best automatic rifle for commando build is the handmade. This character doesn't have any handmade rifle with it, so I just crafted a level 15 handmade for demonstration purpose. And by the way, if you won't get the plan, your best bet is to get it from Graham, the traveling super mutant Savander. You might get this plan from Phoenix, the brotherhood of steel vendor in Vatago town. So again, for receivers, we have to go for automatic receiver to get this 50% AP reduction. So again, powerful automatic receiver is the best choice as well as a prime automatic receiver. If you don't have both of them, then pick up any automatic receiver you have. They will all save you 50% AP cost. Then for barrels, Again, the same, align the long barrel. It's gonna save you 5% AP cost. For grips, you have aligned grip. Again, it will save you 5% AP cost. The next one is a magazine. So for handmade, you have a different variety of magazine to choose comparing with the combat rifle or the fixer. It has a huge magazine called drum magazine. It significantly increase your ammo capacity and hence increase your DPS while fighting the final bosses. It doesn't have perforating magazine, so the best magazine it has in terms of armor penetration is Sting. The Sting in your magazine increases the ammo capacity as well as providing 15% ammo penetration. It's a no-brainer if you want to go for ammo penetration benefits. Then Sting Magazine, if you want to go for large magazine, then Drum Magazines. So these two magazines are the best modes for your handmade magazine. If you don't have either of them, then Swift Magazine could be your best choice. And other site, again, Reflex site is the best choice for 5% AP reduction. For muzzles. The Suppressor, again, for Steel Commando. And for pens, whatever pen you have you want to use, just apply them, doesn't actually affect how you fight. Now this is all the best modes for your handmade. The best way to get the modes for your weapon is to craft them and scrap them. You can get the Combat Rifle plan as well as the handmade plan from the special vendors, as I mentioned earlier. But for Fixer, you need to finish the Baba Black Sheep quest line and trigger the encrypted event. That event have chances to drop the Fixer plan, but the chance is really low. So before you get a Fixer, the Handmate will be your best weapon as a commando. Now, if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends. But until next time, Fuel Legends out.